guys, welcome to my channel. This is my cat. She is two years old, I think, two, three. How old are you, two? And her name is Sephora. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have seen her. Also, I had my other cat in one of my other videos, and I just thought it would be so fun if you guys got to see Sephora, especially if you guys are makeup junkies like I am. My husband actually surprised me with her. Um, a few years ago and she was black and white and I was like what should I name her and I was like oh my gosh I need to name her Sephora so it's so funny because I was actually on the phone with Sephora customer service this morning and I was like can I tell them I have a cat named Sephora is that weird <laughs> anyway um, she's super cute I just thought it would be a fun positive way to start this video but I have wanted to film this video for a while. I just don't have like a ton of products. And I know at some point I was working on a video where I was, I kind of wanted to talk about like bigger brands and like how a lot of them don't have a wide shade selection. But I also had a few key pieces that I had been holding on to for quite some time that just don't work with my skin tone. And so I was like, you know what? It's okay. I'm just going to sit down and talk to you guys about some of these products and most of them are high-end um, that I bought and then ended up realizing we're not going to work with my skin tone. So if you guys are interested in hearing me talk about that stuff, just keep watching. So the first product I want to talk about is this Tom Ford bronzing powder and this is in the shade Bronze Age. Now if you are a YouTuber or a makeup enthusiast, of course having something Tom Ford is just like not something to aspire to but it's just something that as a makeup junkie I know a lot of people collect like Tom Ford lipsticks and stuff like that and I was like you know I'm not a huge lipstick junkie and I thought hey a bronzer is something I can always use in my collection and I honestly can't remember how much this bronzer was this is the smaller size they have another one that's like hundred and twenty something dollars I think it's the same bronzer I think this was like 75 bucks or something so I got it in the mail and I used it but honestly like I just swatched that and you can't even see it so it's basically my skin tone I don't know why I didn't just go ahead and return this I think I was just so excited that I had finally bought something Tom Ford I just held on to it and I, I'm sure it's like way past its return date so now it's just sitting in my collection and so I just wanted to put this in this video because I bought it online my Sephora does not carry Tom Ford so there's no way for me to really swatch it and I should have just waited uh, but if you have my skin tone I just wanted to make this video so you guys don't make the same mistakes as me especially when it comes to like these really expensive products sometimes they're just not the right shade for you and you're just gonna have to accept that until some of these brands just kind of expand their shade range another palette I want to talk about is the Tartlet in Bloom palette now a lot of people really really love this palette and I think there are certain skin tones that can really rock this palette personally I don't think this palette is the most flattering on my skin tone I really love warm shadows and this one I think is a little more cool tone than my taste on lighter skin like pale princesses as Liv calls them I think I can see this looking gorgeous on lots of people on YouTube, but when it comes to me, I'm like, mm, I don't know why I held on to this palette. I did pick up the Tarte Toasted palette, so I'm really excited to see how that one will look on me. I feel like that's more my shade range and shade selection. I just feel like warmer colors are just more flattering on my skin tone. Put this in Bloom palette in this video to kind of just say it's not really the best shade selection for people with my skin tone. Now if you are tan and you love that palette, this is not me like trying to come for you. I just personally don't love that shade selection so I wanted to include it in this video. Now let's talk about something I was like why? What, in, on what planet did I think that the Physician's Formula More More Bronzer was going to work for me and I'm so ridiculous that I bought the lighter one too because there are two shades. This is the even lighter one and I, like on what planet did I think this bronzer was going to work for me? It doesn't. It's absolutely horrible and it's now I can't return it so it's in my collection. Um, I do have it in my freelance kit so if 
I am working on somebody that's lighter skin than me, I can use this on them. But I just wish Physicians Formula would expand the butter bronzer selection because so many YouTubers rave about this bronzer and they talk about how good it is. And personally, I love like a coconut anything. So the fact that I can't use this makes me so, so sad. <laughs> and if you're tan like me, I would just say don't waste your money because this is not going to work for you. I said it there. I said it. Okay, here's another thing I wish I hadn't bought because it is way too light for my skin. This is the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Big Powder Highlight in the shade 01. Kathleen Lights definitely made me buy this. Um, she like raves about this highlight because it's like the perfect no highlight highlight look. And I mean, I can still wear it. It's just that there are other highlighters that work better with my skin. Today I'm wearing the Huda Beauty highlighter in the like in her highlighting palette, Golden Sands, and I really like this highlighter. I think it looks pretty subtle, but it just works better with my skin tone. This highlighter looks beautiful again on pale princesses. It just Oh, it just like melts into your skin and it is a very pricey highlighter so I wish I had like done my research before I just picked this up based on somebody's recommendation on YouTube so that was kind of a bummer the next product I want to talk about is NARS Chelsea girls now when NARS repackaged this and came out with it in like this little lip gloss container everyone was talking about NARS Chelsea girls and they're like oh my god it's so pretty blah, 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 blah. And I was like, okay, like, I want Chelsea Girls, and I think it was just, like, so much hype around it that I bought it. But honestly, guys, I hate pinky lip glosses, and this is, like, exactly what this is. It's a pinky lip gloss, and lip glosses are now, like, coming back in, finally, into, like, they're all the rage, but... God, I wish I hadn't bought this color because I really don't ever wear this. So I think I might be putting this in a sale or something if anyone's interested. I'm going to try and get rid of this because I'm never going to use it. It's such a waste of money. Okay, so my number one biggest waste of money product that does not work on my tan skin is the Chanel bronzer. This is the Soleil Tan de Chanel so many people rave about this on YouTube. It's luxurious. It's actually a $50 bronzer, but it's Chanel and that I somehow like convinced myself that that is a good price. So I don't know if you can see it, but I just washed it right here on my arm. It does not show up on my skin. Like it is the color of my skin. I should almost use it as a foundation. I did see the fancy face talked about this in one of her videos and she said that it also makes a really good primer so I'm considering maybe trying to use it up as a primer but right now it's just sitting in my collection gathering dust so I really wish I hadn't put money into this because it does not work with my tan complexion. Okay guys, that is everything I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me comments down below if there are any makeup products that don't work with your skin tone. Maybe you're lighter than me and you've picked up something that you're like, oh my God, this does not work for my skin tone. Or you are my shade and you've picked up some weird product that somebody was raving about on YouTube and you're like, this does not work on my tan skin tone. I would love to hear you guys' thoughts down in the comments and I thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye guys!